Today, we're going to talk about the phenomenon of frost and ice building up on HVAC, otherwise known as air conditioning systems, why it happens and how to prevent it. Let's start with the basics. So water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. When a surface is below this temperature and the air around it contains moisture, ice or frost can form. When ice forms on an HVAC system, it almost always starts at the evaporator and works its way out. In terms of the refrigerant side, Coil freezing occurs when the suction saturation, otherwise known as coil temperature, drops below 32 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of time. There are certain situations in HVACR, such as the evaporator coil in a freezer, or a heat pump outdoor coil running in heat mode, that need to operate below freezing to transfer heat effectively. Consequently, in these cases, Ice formation is normal, and periodic defrosting is required. However, in air conditioning systems in cooling mode, we must keep the evaporator temperature above freezing. If not, the evaporator coil will freeze, and this will block system airflow. In general, the evaporator coil will be about 35 degrees colder than the indoor temperature, or the return temperature moving over the evaporator. So if it's 75 degrees inside the house, the coil will generally be about 40 degrees, or 40 degrees suction saturation. When freezing does occur, the rate at which the system freezes depends on various factors, including the amount of time, the amount of moisture in the air, the temperature of the air passing over the coil, air velocity, and coil design. Again, the ice buildup almost always starts in the evaporator coil and works its way outside. Remember, if you find a frozen system, take your time to fully defrost it before doing any troubleshooting. In this case, leaving the system off with the blower running is often a good strategy. In some cases, you may need to leave it off entirely, and in some cases, you may be able to use a heat gun or run a heat pump in heat mode for a short period of time. Always make sure to manage the water as the ice melts so as not to cause water damage. Now let's discuss what circumstances can result in low coil temperature in the first place, meaning the causes of freezing. Low evaporator coil load, which includes things like low airflow and low indoor temperature. Not enough refrigerant in the system. Low outdoor ambient temperatures. Blower issues, and in some cases, refrigerant side restrictions. Let's talk about low evaporator load. Low evaporator load is often due to low airflow or low indoor ambient conditions, or a combination of both. These conditions can increase the likelihood of freezing, especially during lower outdoor temperatures or when the thermostat is set lower than usual. In general, we don't suggest that occupants set air conditioners below 72 degrees on standard equipment, otherwise it does increase the odds that the equipment will freeze up. Now again, it's not a matter of just set point that causes this, it's a matter of the indoor air temperature getting too low. Always look at obvious things that cause airflow problems first and foremost. These are things like dirty air filters, dirty evaporator coils, dirty blower wheels, and other blower issues. Low refrigerant charge or restricted refrigerant flow can also result in freezing. Over time, this can lead to the coil simultaneously building up frost and underfeeding, causing high superheat, blockage, and eventually a complete freeze up, especially in humid climates. Understanding the causes of frost and ice buildup in HVAC systems is essential to maintain their efficiency and longevity. Always defrost first and look for signs of low system airflow before doing anything else to remedy the issues, such as adding refrigerant. 